Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a very useful tip um, on a way to speed up your workflow, tax your computer a lot less, um, you know, leave a lot more space for it to run heavier applications or whatever. Um, just a way to speed things up, really. Uh, so what I'm doing here is sort of faking a way to subgroup a bunch of channels. Now, if you don't know what that means um, on a, you know, typically a big mixer or uh, Pro Tools or Logic, you know, some of the more advanced recording programs or devices have the ability to create what is called a subgroup. Now, what that means is if, for example, um, if I have six channels that I know will, you know, more or less, I, I can get a general balance of those. And then I'd like to just control that with one or two faders on a, and I'm thinking sort of on a mixer, um, you can just assign those channels to two other channels and then you can control the control the overall volume with just those two channels instead of having to go you know one two three four five six and you know if you're trying to balance backup vocals or something that can become very tedious very time consuming so you know the trick for engineers is to come up with a, a general mix of those six and then to assign them to a subgroup where they can you know be sort of controlled under a master volume for that group now GarageBand obviously doesn't have that ability so you sort of have to fake your way through it to do it but there is a way to do it and that's what I'm going to show you so the thing I want to talk about is um, uh, some vocals that we were doing on the song Good Intent uh, we did it with Sunshine Superman there's a link below please check out the video um, to hear the full effect but so basically what I did was here's here are my six voices one two three four five and six so these are the six voices that I was dealing with and let me just let you hear it real quick So those voices, that's what I wanted to isolate. Just these six. Actually, maybe I'll just solo it. So these guys right here. Right? So I knew for sure that um, I was going to want the same effect. I wanted those to all have sort of that AM radio effect. Um, obviously, I cut the beginning and the end of that clip to give it a very sharp entrance and a very sharp exit um so you know these are other tricks of the production phase but here's what i did so i solo these six tracks right then i come up here and i create the and i turn on the looper tool here um and this you know the yellow bar here you can just push the c button on your keyboard and it opens it up and if you don't see the bar you can just place the cursor anywhere and start doing it you know and start you know moving it um Anyway, I also have my uh, markers on so I can see exactly what it's grabbing. So now I've isolated these six tracks, right? So what I want to do is export these to the disk. Um, and we're going to leave it on the desktop. I'm going to call it Good Intent Clips, plural, because plural, I've actually done this before. Um, <laughs> so... It'll export it, and this is usually a pretty fast thing, especially because I've only isolated, you know, whatever, this five seconds of the song. So now I come down here, and here it is on my desktop. Sorry, my desktop's such a mess. And now what I would do is create a new track, and then I would drop this in here. Now you can see that I've already done it on this track. Um, so again, create a new track, and then just drop your clip that you just exported into it, right? Um, let me just put that back on the desktop. So now, and I'll just show you the one that I already worked with. It's this one right here. And I just applied one effect to it. And I knew that I wanted it all, you know, over to the left-hand side. So when I, one thing I did do when I exported these, I kept them all at 12 o'clock. But this is up to you. You can control the panning of your tracks however you want. Um, it's just that the subgrouped channel uh, is just easier to control. So now all that stuff is all here. right so it's all there for me to you know i could control it i have a you know i had to come up with a basic overall mix of those six channels first then i can export it then i can control it in a you know easy way now it's just one little fader 
fader <laughs> uh, for me to control. But also, you know, I can apply an effect to it. I can, you know, see what it sounds like. It's a lot easier for experimentation. It's a lot easier uh, for mixing purposes. And, you know, like I said, for experimentation, I wouldn't, for a second, I was like, maybe I won't keep it. Like, you know, I won't keep the subgrouped thing. Maybe I'll just experiment with it and see what the effects sound like on all these voices. Instead of having to apply that effect to all six channels, I could just apply it to the one. That's the whole thing. So subgrouping, you know, GarageBand guys, you know, we're we're out there. You guys know you guys are out there, hopefully watching this video and learning. Um, but, you know, we, we have to work within the limitations of what we have as home recording studio art, uh, engineers. This is a daily part of our battle. So um, subgrouping is a great way to do it. This is sort of a fake way of doing it, but it definitely works and it definitely speeds things up and it makes life a lot easier. So, hey, yay for that. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Please sign my mailing list. Uh, there's another link below for that on garagebandandbeyond.com. Giving away stuff all the time. Um, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Yada, 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 yada. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later.